In today's class, we will be going over the characteristics of living things. Let's start with movement. Every living thing moves. Your dog loves to run, jump, and wag its tail when it's excited, and the birds flap their wings to fly. Movement doesn't just apply to mammals, but it applies to plants as well. Let's take a look at this plant. It's moving to catch light that it needs to survive. Movement is extremely important to our survival and thus it is a key characteristic for living things. The next would be respiration. All living things need to breathe. Breathing is part of a process called respiration. During respiration, a living thing takes in oxygen from the air and gives out carbon dioxide. But you may ask, hold on teacher, but what about fish? How do they get air underwater? That's a good question. You see, a fish can remove oxygen from the water with the use of special organs called gills. The next characteristic is sensitivity. Living things are sensitive to touch and can detect changes in the surrounding environment. Have you experienced touching a mug and suddenly pulling your hand back when you realize that the mug is too hot? That is your body telling you to pull your hand back to avoid further pain and damage to your hands. This is sensitivity. The next characteristic is growth. All living things grow. All living things start as a baby and then grow up to be adults. You see this cute puppy? Well, this is him after a year. Next would be reproduction. Do you have a newborn puppy at home? That means you have two other dogs at home, and that is the mother and father dog. Living things reproduce and have offsprings. Living things reproduce to prolong their species. This applies to humans as well. Excretion. Excretion is the process of getting rid of waste. All living things excrete waste from their body. It is important for your body to rid of these solid or liquid waste. That is because waste kept in your body is poisonous and harmful to you. When you eat, your food passes through your digestive system and the waste is excreted by the end of the digestive process. So if your pet poops regularly, he is fine and healthy. Nutrition All living things eat and intake nutrients to survive. In order for us to survive and not starve or thirst, we eat food and drink water. Have you ever felt weak and thirsty after jogging or running for a while? That's your body telling you to intake water to help quench your thirst and provide vitamins, minerals, and oxygen to your brain. Also, have you ever felt your tummy rumble when you haven't eaten for a while? That's your body telling you to get some food to provide nutrients to your body. The living body is a wondrous and amazing thing. So if you ever see anything out there that has each of these characteristics, well, that is a living thing. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.